Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is D-Wall, the Destiny Call Alliance, and seeing as though I don't really have that much time after I just got out of this huge meeting, I have been sent here to uh, kind of tell you guys what happened with that meeting. First of all, I just want to say I am sorry to each and every one of you because I have made a mistake. That mistake was the change. Why? Because ever since the change debuted, DCA went into a downward spiral internally and on programming. Wrestling, booking, storylines went down the drain and it seemed like everything went into a confusing, controversial mess to which DCA was almost gone and done with before season one ever ended. From what I told was told from the booking staff and all that and the board and the wrestlers and everything, DCA was going absolutely nowhere. And that was on my part. But also was the part of Shazine and Richard Sylvia and the board of directors for not doing their jobs. So what did I do? I set up a meeting at noon with all the superstars, all of the talent, all the staff, everybody, everyone who works for DCA was crammed into that huge room and I talked to each and every one of them about what was going to happen and this is what I did that will hopefully make things better for you and hopefully make things better for the superstars. First of all, regarding Shazeen. She's fired. She's done. That's it. No more Shazine as the general manager of Takedown. Why? Because Shazine sent DCA into a frantic downward spiral financially to where now we can't do Revelations Last Rites. So, Revelations Last Rites now will not happen. It's, de it's been delayed. I don't know when it's going to happen. I'm still trying to figure that out myself, ladies and gentlemen. But Shazine Freya has been fired. Number two, Richard Sylvia and the rest of the board of directors thinking that they can do their job and not fire Shazine on the anniversary show, each and every one of them are going to be personally evaluated by myself, and if I see that they are not capable of doing their job, they will be fired. Richard Sylvia, I'm considering firing him right after I'm done with this little thing I'm doing right now, ladies and gentlemen. He might be fired because he didn't fire Shazine when he had the chance. He took it too soft with her. And now he's going to pay the consequences for those actions. And number three, DCA is hitting the reset button. I am personally hitting the reset button. There will be a new general manager in place that I am going to be talking with later on today to see if he wants to do this job and if he has what it takes to do this job, which I'm pretty sure he is more than capable of. And number two, all the matches for Revelations Last Rites are being scrapped. And I am here to announce that DCA Takedown 30 will take it to Revelations Last Rites place. It will not be the last event of Season 1, however, because Season 1, from what I have been told by my shareholders, is going to be extended in order to fix this financial situation bit by bit. Now, Takedown Episode 29 is going to be a little bit of a different thing. Because on that show, there will be a series of number one contenders matches to determine who will face our champions on Takedown 30. And I am here to announce those matches to you right now. Number one, the six women who are going to be in that tag match that Richard Sylvia announced on the last Takedown, those six women, except for Jessica Knight because she's out with an injury and now is going to be replaced, will be in a six-woman battle royal. The winner will face Sierra Knight and Morgan Raincroft. Those six women will be Sapphire Jones, Delia, Angel Sanchez, Akira Yukimura, Nicole, and Jessica Lewis. They will all be in that six-woman battle royal. But there will be one other addition to that triple threat on takedown 30 for the women's title, and that will be Am Amber Stevens. Excuse me. Amber Stevens will be in that match because of the fact that she will not get her shot at Shazine anymore because she's been fired, I personally went up to her and told her that she's going to be added to the women's title match as a little bit of a incentive or whatever you want to call it. So, it will be Sierra Knight versus Morgan Raincroft versus Amber Stevens versus the winner of the Battle Royal on Takedown Episode 29 in a fatal four-way elimination match for the women's title on takedown 30. The second qualifying match, if you will, 
for a championship will be for the tag championships as the Rising Suns will face Blackout 2.0. These two teams are the most credible teams that I could find on the DCA and Battle Pro roster that is capable of taking the titles from the Blade Runners. So, those two will be in a match on Takedown 29. The winner will face the Blade Runners for the tag titles on Takedown 30. And finally, the DCA Championship will have a number one contender. And no, it may not be Zach Stone. Why? Because Zach Stone is going to put his title shot on the line against the man who truly deserves his title shot, which is Atlas Jones. The winner of that match will face John Blackrose for the DCA World title on Takedown 30. And as for Alexander Washington, I've actually decided to reward him. How? By giving him an open challenge. He didn't request it, I did. So on Takedown 30, Alexander Washington is going to be facing somebody. I don't know who. Anybody. I'm inviting anybody in DCA Battle Pro anywhere to go and take the championship away from Alexander Washington. Granted, Alexander Washington has been doing an excellent job by himself without the change's help. This is why I'm doing this, because Alexander deserves to prove to everyone that he can do it on his own, without the Blade Runners, without Sean Blackrose to back him up. So, Alexander is going to be facing a mystery opponent, anybody who wants to come up to me and say, hey D-Wall, I want to face Alexander Washington. So, whoever wants to do such a thing, whoever wants to do that and try and take the title from him, you're more than welcome. The doors are open for you. So here's what's going to happen on Takedown 29 so far. Six Woman Battle Royal, winner faces Sierra Knight, Amber Stevens, and Morgan Raincroft on Takedown 30 for the women's title. Blackout 2.0 will face the Rising Suns. The winner will face the Blade Runners for the Tag Championships on Takedown 30. And Atlas Jones will face Zach Stone. The winner will face John Blackrose on Takedown 30 for the DCA World title. And already confirmed for Takedown 30, the only match that is confirmed really is Alexander Washington versus someone in an open challenge match for the Destiny Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, DCA is going in a totally different direction now. The reset button has been pressed by myself earlier in that meeting. Everyone is aware of this and everyone I'm talking to under the sound of my voice that is watching this video right now, now knows. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that I can bring you a better product than I have before. I hope after this reset that everything about DCA that you knew, the cluttered mess that it was, is going to be a thing of the past. And that this DCA, this new and improved DCA, will actually be one that you're proud of and that I'm proud of. So ladies and gentlemen, the reset button has been pressed. And the future of DCA is now hopefully going to be in good hands with me running the show and with somebody else running takedown with both of us in control with a new board of directors that can actually do their job and with a general manager who can do their job things are going to get a whole lot better in dca that i can promise you ladies and gentlemen that is all that i have to say right now and i'll see you guys on takedown episode 29 thank you for your time Thank you for your patience, and thank you for watching DCA. This is D-Wall, and I will talk to you on Takedown 29. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.